Hey there, I'm Jen. Welcome to my shop, Sentimental Wood Art. Come along and join me on my woodworking journey as I create things that just touch my heart and make me smile and learn to get more creative with each adventure and project that I dive into. Can't forget my puppies since I'm a dog walker. A lot of the things I do are meant to spark creativity and share ideas. I hope you find something that generates an idea for you. This is currently what my coffee area looks like. I like to have cocoa in the afternoon and this warbler is just so cute but it takes up so much space. Plus I use a golden milk latte every once in a while to help my arthritis. Yes, I'm old. Now I wanted to do something about this. So I started Googling ways to organize my countertops and I'm going to come up with a little stand to organize all my coffee stuff. But first, I want to make a sign to sort of cover up the stuff that really you don't need to see. So I found this cute little coffee mug and I'm a little worried about the hearts on the scroll saw. Are they going to be too fragile? What's it going to look like? It's about five inches tall. So it should be sturdy if I use like three-fourths, quarter inch, I'm not sure, vaulted birch, hardwood, not sure about that. And now I'm working on the saying, but first, coffee. As I'm organizing these letters on Inkscape, I'm taking a closer look at some of them, and I'm a little concerned about the eye. Is it going to look like an eye when I bump it up and make it close? I usually take the dot and connect it so when you do it on the scroll saw it works. You can't just have a floating circle when you have things connected together but you can't see the circle with the F so I'm trying to work with the little micro movements in Inkscape to try and get rid of the dot completely. I probably should have just deleted the top isolated that but I did it this way so that took a bit and then I'm also worried about when I get over to the F's for the coffee word because they don't look like the T as well. Sometimes I just, on the fly while I'm on the scroll saw, extend some of the letters to make it flow a little bit better. So that T feels like you can have the edge out a little bit more so it's touching the S and the C better. Same with the F's. When you're working on Inkscape, you can select the letters to transform what they look like. And then you can click on Edit Path Nodes. So when I was speaking of the micro movements, I am talking about nodes. So each little minuscule dot here, when you look up close, is a node. And you can move your letters to transform them morph the F like I was talking about. It's a little tricky because the nodes sometimes move in a ratio versus straightforward. So they may look off while I'm in Inkscape and then I just tweak it as I'm on the scroll saw. The little organizer that I'm using for my coffee bar, makeshift coffee bar, is about 12 inches wide. I am making this sign to be around 11 inches wide. I'm thinking about putting this on Baltic birch. I was going to do a hardwood, but it's going to be in the kitchen. So I think I'm just going to put a decent coat of stain on it. I'm a little worried how that's going to work. I wonder if I should try this on the CNC versus the scroll saw. I much prefer the scroll saw. I was debating about hand drawing the dot over the eye. Thinking I'm just going to leave it blank because I tried and it just is going to look funny. All right, let's get some adhesive on this and get to the scroll saw. Have you ever been working on the scroll saw and then you just hear it start to sound a little funny? It gets all loosey goosey. 
somehow it comes loose from underneath the table where it's attached. Here I'm evaluating some of my split decisions while I was working on the scroll saw. This T I decided to make a lot longer. I don't know what's going on with that R, but I'm debating if I need to get back in there and do something. Now for the finishing. Do I want to do stain? Do I want to do Danish oil? Here's a sample. Now I'm debating. I decided to go with the dark Danish oil. It's more coffee-like. What do you think? I think the area looks much better than it did before. It seemed a little more disastrous, even though the wobbler's cute. 